Good evening, Grand Rapids Christian High seniors and parents, grandparents, friends. Uh, I want to welcome you to the 2020 Senior Awards Night. Uh, this certainly is not how we pictured this event to be, but nevertheless, we are here and eager to celebrate you and all your accomplishments. Uh, so normally we would be here together in our beautiful town square. Uh, we would enjoy dessert together. So I would invite you uh, to maybe grab your favorite dessert, uh, take a seat in your living room, uh, and enjoy this opportunity to, uh, to celebrate. So seniors, we are proud of you. Uh, we're, we're eager to get this program started uh, and to acknowledge all the uh, wonderful ways that you've used your gifts over the last four years. So I'm gonna turn it over now to Mr. DeCoster, who's our Director of Academic and Innovative Programs, and he will lead us in prayer and tell us a little bit more about tonight's program. Thanks and have a great night. Before we begin, please join me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, while there is so much to lament in the world today, we want to take a minute just to give you thanks and praise. Lord, we thank you for our school. Lord, a place where we can be open about our faith and open about our trust and our devotion to you. Lord, we thank you for our students, particularly tonight for our seniors. Lord, thank you for all the gifts that you have blessed them with, and thank you for how they have exemplified the fruits of your spirit and all their contributions to our school over the last four years. Lord, thank you for all of those who have walked alongside our students to mentor and mold them in their faith. Thank you for our teachers, our staff, the parents and grandparents who have all come alongside to help mold and form these students. Lord, help us all to use the gifts that we have been given to live out our testimony to you. And Lord, thank you for your greatest gift, your son Jesus, in whose name we pray tonight. Amen. Now we move into a time of celebration. Tonight you will hear about the many stories of our students. At a time when we are all scattered, these students' stories will bring a hopeful reminder of God's kingdom at work. There will be awards from every academic department, athletics, a variety of Christian high scholarships, and the Eagle Way Award. As you can imagine, it is difficult to summarize four years of accomplishments for any student. This is especially true for our seniors tonight, who have each contributed so much to our school. Nonetheless, we have asked each speaker to limit their comments while honoring each recipient. You will hear a brief description of the award being given and a short summary on each student being recognized. Please know that our short comments represent a deep gratitude and affection for our students. Let's begin with our first award. Hello, my name is Gord DeKukuk and I'm representing the Engineer and Applied Technology Department. And I would like to uh, share with you the award recipient for our department. Um, this year the award goes to Tyler Ekoff. Um, many of you know Tyler and uh, Tyler is the, the young man who, if you have him in your class, he makes that class better just by his encouragement, by his enthusiasm. Uh, he has a, Tyler has a great ability to solve problems. Uh, he brings others along with him. He uh, enjoys working with other people. And uh, quite frankly, uh, Tyler is somebody that uh, makes your day. And uh, Tyler, thank you for embodying uh, what it is to be a graduate at Grand Rapids Christian High School, and uh, your award is in the mail. Thanks. Take 57. I love giving out this award every year, but this year is particularly special to me because this year's Artist of the Year recipient is my daughter, Madison Quist. Congratulations, Madison. Madison fully embodies our school's portrait of a graduate. As her teacher, and more importantly, as her dad, I couldn't be more proud of 
who she has become during her time here at Christian High. However, I know that words from her dad might seem quite biased and lame, so I've asked Madison's other art teacher, Mrs. Craigsman, to write some words about her, and she writes this. Maddie was my choice for Art Student of the Year because she so thoroughly embodies all the characteristics of the award. So much, in fact, we should probably make a little gold statue of her and give it out to all future award recipients, like a little Maddie-shaped Art Emmy. Beyond being my top pick for the award, she is genuinely a stunning human being. I occasionally find myself staring at her from across the room, waiting to see if she's going to let her guard down and start engaging in more typical human behavior. But it seems she is not merely human in the way one would expect. She is something much better. She already has depth in her soul one would expect from someone much older. One of my favorite art pieces Maddie created included a large portrait of her having climbed up a 14,000 foot peak in Colorado. When I talked to her about it, I said, you must really love nature. And she replied, actually, this was one of the hardest climbs I've ever done. Maddie crushes the challenges in front of her, even when they are really, really hard. She acknowledges and accepts the discomforts in life, knowing that the climb is sometimes rough, unknown, and often upward. Congratulations, Maddie. Your creative passion is infectious. Your ability to work so hard is rare, and you are going to continue to bless those around you as you create meaning and share truth. I couldn't agree more. Congratulations, Masson. Jason Hirama, your athletic director here at Grand Rapids Christian, presenting the Eagle Athlete of the Year Award to our top male and female multi-sport athlete. The portrait of a graduate that really comes to mind for me for this award is our creative solution finder. Often our Eagle Athlete of the Year Award winners are our top uh, glue, top chemistry people also on the team. Uh, this award is voted on by the coaches. Congratulations. Male Eagle Athlete of the Year Award goes to Evan May, a five-sport athlete here at Points in Crane Rapids Christian. A couple years of golf, a couple years of football. Primary was soccer, where he did two years varsity. Captain in all-conference. Basketball, where he was three years varsity. Also was a captain in all-conference. Uh, B-Camp Scholar Athlete as well. And he did volleyball, part of our inaugural program, where he was all-conference and all-region and received volleyball scholarship offers. Congratulations, Devin, on going to play basketball at Calvin College. We've loved watching you on the court, in the classroom, and as an Eagle Nation member. Congratulations. Eagle Athlete of the Year Award goes to Rory Pruce, also appoints a five-sport athlete here at Grand Rapids Christian. She did two years of cross-country, two years of varsity golf, did four years of basketball, three of those years varsity, including honorable mention as a sophomore, did one year of track as a junior, and four years varsity for soccer, where she was all-conference and all-district. Rory will go on to play soccer at Calvin College. Congratulations, Rory. Male Scholar Athlete of the Year Award goes to Ben Peterson with a 4.354 GPA. Ben ran cross country and track. Ben's coach, Doug Jager, says Ben has been a solid performer all four years, consistently in the top seven the past three seasons. Ben has been a very valuable member of the team with a great work ethic, always comes to practice ready to get to work, very mature and represented Grand Rapids Christian extremely well. Ben, congratulations on your Scholar Athlete Award. Male Scholar Athlete of the Year Award goes to Delaney Saul, who ran cross country and track and had a 4.319 GPA. Coach Jagger says, Delaney was a first year runner for the Eagles who moved in from Marquette. Delaney was a hard worker who came to practice ready to do everything asked of her. She ran top seven for us every race. We were very much looking forward to being able to see what she could do in her track season. Congratulations, Delaney. Rapids Christian Athletic Department Barman Award is a celebration of a student or students who are participating in athletics despite an unusual set of circumstances or disabilities that they face. First of our two Barman Awards goes to Adam Baker, a four-year three-sport athlete here at Grand Rapids Christian, running in cross-country, doing bowling, and track and field. I've also had the pleasure of coaching Adam uh, in bowling, and what a joy he is. Uh, speaking personally, uh, he is somebody I will deeply miss at the high school, 
um, day to day as a student and just uh, watching him participate in athletics. Interestingly, while Adam certainly um, faces some challenges, uh, his time in cross country would make him a varsity runner in the vast majority of the boys cross country teams across the state. He is quite skilled and has worked very hard at it. What his coaches have to say about him, Coach Larry Borst from bowling, Adam was careful to thank everyone at the bowling alley all the time and wish them a good weekend or a Merry Christmas. He started good conversations with teammates and coaches. He loves trains very much. Um, and he worked really hard on his game and was just a tremendous joy to have on the team. Coach Jagger says of Adam, I could write my own book with Adam Baker's stories. He was a delight to coach, and I will really miss him. He always welcomed me with a happy, Hello, Mr. Jagger. How are you today? Here are a couple stories. As a junior, he was hoping to PR at our race in Otsego. After finding out what his favorite food was, which is cheeseburgers, I promised him I would buy him a cheeseburger award if he set a PR. All through the race, coaches encouraged him to run hard by reminding him of his cheeseburger award. Adam then broke his PR by 40 seconds. On the way home, I had the bus driver pull into McDonald's where I alone got off and purchased two cheeseburgers. He still talks about this day, his senior year, calling it the best day of his life. The second story involves Adam's love for trains. Adam must see any train he hears. Anyway, one day when the train team was running, I found myself with just Adam as we went up Alger Hill to school. As we neared the crest of the hill, we could hear a train in the distance approaching us. Adam wanted to wait for it. I really preferred to just finish our run and get with the rest of the team. After all, school was just a few hundred yards away, but Adam insisted, and so we stayed. As the train appeared, we waved and motioned to the conductor to blow the horn, which he did long and loud. Adam was beaming. As we finished our run to school, Adam explained to me the details of the train. He named the start of the train's route and destination, as well as the type of engine on the locomotive. I have no doubt his details were accurate. Adam, congratulations on your Barman Award. Uh, we just think you're wonderful and can't wait to see what you do going forward. The second Barman Award goes to Taylor Martin. Taylor was a four-year sideline cheer varsity team member and a four-year member of the bowling program, her last year being varsity full-time on the team. I got to know Taylor well as a student. I also got to know her as an athlete. I got to coach her as, for a couple weeks on the bowling team. What a joy as a person. Um, how much I enjoyed spending time with her, um, talking with her, and seeing how uh, she was such an asset to the teams that she was on. Coach Bors recounts a couple of uh, stories where they were bowling at regionals, same place that she had purchased the ball from, and she made a point to stop and to go and find the person who sold her the ball and thank him um, because she'd had such a wonderful season. Uh, the other story was just about how hard she really worked to get better. Uh, she was relentless with training herself, um, really paying attention to the details about chalking her thumb, taking care of the oil on the ball, and made herself into a varsity bowler. Uh, she was such a joy and an asset to the team. Coach DeYoung for Cheer recounts that um, Taylor's smile and laugh will always stay with her, so respectful of her coaches and teammates. An unbelievable memory. Uh, could recount word for word from weeks before. Um, very kind, very happy. And Coach really noted just a tremendous amount of improvement from freshman to senior year with her physical and athletic growth and strength um, really, really improved. Her confidence improved, became more vocal, um, reminding others of rules and expectations and really showing leadership. Uh, the, the other piece that Coach DeYoung really wants to note is her growth in her faith. Um, quietly reflecting the Christian values instilled in her by her parents and granny. Uh, Coach DeYoung says how much she's going to miss Taylor, and we all echo that. Taylor, we can't wait to see what you do in the future. You're going to be a blessing wherever you go. God bless you and congratulations. My name is Mark Vanderwerf. 
Bible teacher at the high school, as well as the high school chaplain. The Brother Lawrence Award is given by the department to students who, through their words and actions, model the words of Micah 6, verse 8, to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. This award is named after Brother Lawrence, a monk and author of the classic book, The Practice of the Presence of God. In it, he says, we ought not to be weary of doing little things for the love of God, who regards not the greatness of the work, but the love with which it is performed. This year's awards go to Hannah Feng, Rachel Sapa, Case Dykstra, and Q. Henry. Each in their own way did and continue to do so many little things for the love of God. Hannah Feng was a member of the Spiritual Formation Branch of Student Congress and served as a chapel intern. In those roles, as well as many others, she showed great spiritual wisdom and maturity. Rachel Sapa was also a chapel intern who faithfully cared for and helped shape our times of worship. Her love of God also fuels within her a love of her neighbor and the call to do justice. Case Dystra richly blessed his peers and teachers alike with his graciousness and his thoughtfulness in classroom discussions. In so many ways, he models a Christ-like compassion in humility. And finally, Q. Henry served as a member of the Spiritual Formation Branch of Student Congress as well, and served in quiet ways, never seeking the limelight, but modeled the way of Christ-like servant leadership. Hannah, Rachel, Case, and Q, congratulations. We are proud of each of you, and may you continue to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. The English Department Award honors students who show excellence in and passion for the subject of English. We have two recipients this year. Carol Chi was a clear choice for the award, as she is a great thinker and writer that has demonstrated these skills in a variety of areas. She's worked with Eagle Eye. She's been the best editor and program designer our theater department has ever had. And she's taken three extra English electives. Um, plus, there's this from Miss Swart. Going. Carol is also a beautiful creative writer, and I'm really excited that she's going to continue studying that in college. We are excited to see where God uses Carol's talents in the future. Danielle Fadrigo was the other clear choice for our department. Like Carol, she's a deep thinker and a great writer. That writing has served her well in a handful of writing contests that she's won the last few years, and the four extra English electives that she's taken. But what we've really appreciated about Danielle is not only her love for literature, but her desire to share that love and knowledge with others. Here's Mrs. Gunnick. Danielle has been teacher interning with me this year, and it has been so exciting to see her support, challenge, and help our ninth grade students. She's an excellent student. I think we'd all agree that we love having Danielle in our classes and would love the idea of sharing an English Commons with her again, someday in the future perhaps. Hello, I'm Amy Petrasic, and I am presenting the award for Outstanding Student in Family and Consumer Science. The recipient of the award this year is Kate Claver. I've had the pleasure of getting to know Kate over the past few years as she has taken three of my classes and even served as my student intern this past semester in nutritional health. When I think about our portrait of a graduate, the two components that I really think that she embodies are being a thoughtful neighbor and a disciple of Christ. Kate loves the Lord and it's evident in her actions, how she interacts with others, how she treats others. She's kind, she's caring, compassionate, hospitable, um, the first to help someone who is in need without hesitation. I know Kate is moving on to the next chapter and will be at Kelvin next year. Um, she'll be greatly missed, but I know all these wonderful qualities that she has will take her far in life. Congrats, Kate. Miss you. Greetings to all. I'm Eve Ricketts and I'm presenting an award on behalf of the Mathematics Department. We wish to honor Ava Boy de Graaf as the outstanding mathematics senior for this school year. Ava has used her giftedness in mathematics to be the very best that she can be. Ava is incredibly smart, humble about her abilities, 
and respectful of others. She has the ability to think in the abstract when many of her peers are grappling with concrete situations. Ava is a thinker and isn't afraid of work. She sets high standards for herself and works to achieve them. So from the mathematics department, we wish you, Ava, many more successes. Our hope is that you will continue to study mathematics through your college years and beyond. And our blessings and best wishes go with you. Hi, this is Cindy Betts. The music department has a tradition of giving the following national awards and outstanding students from all over the country are being recognized at their schools with these same awards. Each of our music students will be receiving an award that looks like this. And as soon as we can get them engraved, we will get them to your homes by mail. I get you a award, the National Orchestra Award this year, and it goes to Miriam DeVries. Miriam is a violinist of the highest caliber, and she has a long list of accomplishments. She has received high scores and awards from both MIAF and MSBOA competitions and festivals. With her strong leadership skills, she has led the, both the Grand Rapids Youth Symphony and our own school orchestra as concertmaster for two years. She is also involved extensively with chamber music. She leads by example, and she is consistent, reliable, committed, well-prepared, thoughtful, and intentional. She has a terrific work ethic, and our orchestras have benefited so much from her leadership, both in small groups and the large group. Miriam plans to attend Yale University to pursue a career in political science, and she will also continue studying and performing on her violin. Thank you, Miriam, for being you and for sharing your gifts with all of us and in the classroom. You will be missed. Good evening, everybody. My name is John Blakemore, and I'm the director of bands here at Christian High. Will Emily Gronenboom please come up to the computer screen? John Philip Sousa was the founder of the Modern Concert Band. Each year, we give a national school award named after Sousa to a deserving senior band student. Every year, it is very difficult to choose the Sousa recipient. So Emily, while you are receiving the John Philip Sousa Award, please know that you are also representing all of your senior band colleagues. Emily Gronenboom embodies the attributes of Christ's definition of servant leadership as found in the book of Matthew, and so much more. Emily is the leader of our French horn section, and she's also the principal French horn player in our full orchestra. Her many contributions these past years cannot be understated. She has always been willing to share her talent anytime, anywhere, and in any way that she possibly can. Off campus, Emily has earned superior ratings at both district and state solo and ensemble festivals each and every time she's attended. She's also a member of the very highly selective Grand Rapids Youth Orchestra. During the past four years, I have had the privilege of seeing her develop into an artist-level horn player. Her artistry is tempered with a compassionate, humble spirit with a heart for service. Her servant's heart and her obedience to God's call in her life will make Emily a Christian High alumna in which we can all be proud. In college, Emily plans to pursue degrees in design and music. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you for everything. It's been an honor to teach you. God bless you. The National School Choral Award for Dedication and Musical Achievement goes to Leanne Lee. Leanne came to Grand Rapids Christian as a sophomore exchange student and immersed herself immediately into vocal music. She excelled rapidly, participating in district and state solo festivals, choral festivals, musicals, voice lessons, honors choirs, and finally peaking with her incredible college auditions. She has conquered singing in six languages other than her own, and she has conquered so many fears along with it. Leanne, I am so incredibly proud of you and the person you've become through this whole process. Singing helped make you a communicator and collaborator, confident, poised, and ready for any challenge. And I pray that you can channel that and use it throughout the rest of your life in many areas. I will miss you. We also have the tradition of giving the National Aryan Award. 
is given to an instrumental and choral music student who have exceptional talent and have made a significant contribution to our music department. This year's winners are Hope Chun and Owen Tellingheisen. Owen is one of the most talented musicians Grand Rapids Christian has ever seen. He is a pianist, organist, and composer of the highest caliber, competing and winning several state and regional competitions through MIAF and the Michigan Federation of Musicians. His musicality and expression are unparalleled, and anyone who watches him play is immediately entranced by his music. He also uses his gift to glorify God as a disciple of Christ by accompanying weekly church services and chapels, live and virtual. He is a humble leader and a dedicated servant with such a bright future in the performing arts. We will all miss him dearly. Hope is both a pianist and violinist of the highest caliber. Her list of accomplishments on both instruments is long. Some include multiple awards from MSBOA district and state festivals, selection for the Michigan All-State Orchestras, participation in the Grand Rapids Youth Symphony, and winning their piano concerto competition last year. She has received numerous other awards with her piano as well. Hope is a gifted, dedicated, and humble servant leader. She has contributed so much to our ensemble and to individuals in our orchestras over the years. She is a creative collaborator and has worked with small groups and individual students to help improve both the quality and the culture of our orchestras. She plans to pursue a career in piano performance and musicology and has a bright future ahead of her. Hope and Owen, we thank you and wish you God's blessings as you continue to pursue and develop your gifts. This year's Outstanding Student Award in PE will go to two students. These two students want to improve their fitness. They have an appreciation of physical activity and display sportsmanship. On behalf of the PE department, I have the honor to present Charles Tiam and Annika Weber with this award. If you know Annika and Charles, then the award I just described really embodies who they are. Both have not only taken multiple PE classes, but have excelled in them. They are the type of students who encourage those who struggle and call out those who aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Their dedication, compassion, and sportsmanship will serve them well as they move to the next journey in life. We wish them well. The Outstanding Student in the Sciences Award this year goes to Lauren Timmer. Throughout her time at Grand Rapids Christian, Lauren has taken nearly every science class that we offer, including two AP science classes. Lauren works hard, produces quality work, and shows an amazing understanding of science. She truly is a lifelong explorer with her intrinsic curiosity and constant desire to learn more. Lauren hopes to attend medical school and then serve as a medical doctor in one of the branches of the military. Congratulations, Lauren. My name is Rebecca Paulette, and I am here to announce the award for the most outstanding student in social studies. This student is awarded the Howard J. Wyerda Scholarship, and I'm very delighted to say that Miriam DeVries is our scholarship winner this year. The intent of this scholarship is to recognize a senior who excels in social studies and who also plans on studying in the field of social studies. Miriam has exhausted our list of AP and elective courses and has excelled in all areas of our discipline. She has immense talent, drive, and ambition. She is a creative solution finder. She is a justice seeker, and we are so excited to see her pursue a field in the social studies. Congratulations, Miriam. Good evening. I am Amy Crow, Director of the Educational Support Services Program at Christian High, and I am going to be giving the Anna Stedjink Award to Mackay Tyus. The Anna Stedjink Memorial Scholarship, offered by the organization All Belong, honors students who learn differently and utilize support services. I was impressed with Mackay the first time I met him. He carried himself with dignity and had a peacefulness that was beyond his years. After knowing him a while, we recognized he was also a talented athlete, a kind and patient friend, a sharp dresser, as well as a dedicated student. One staff member said that Mackay, though he is quiet, has his moments of welcome, fun, and rowdiness. He taught her a special handshake and tutored her in high school slang vocabulary when needed. Mackay exemplifies the portrait of a graduate characteristic of being a thoughtful neighbor. 
He respects others, shares kindness, and seeks out opportunity to be inclusive. Next year, Mackay plans to begin his studies to become a master electrician. To honor him, we will have his name engraved on this beautiful plaque, and we will present him with our gift when we are able. Congratulations, Mackay, on receiving this award. Hi, my name is Missy Mikoff, and I'm the Inclusion Coordinator at the high school, and I have the honor of presenting the Heart for Inclusion Award to Lindsay Stinton. Congratulations, Lindsay. Lindsay demonstrates the qualities of a thoughtful neighbor. Lindsay is prepared to practice hospitality. She serves with compassion and shows empathy to those around her. Lindsay has demonstrated these qualities by making herself available to all students, including students supported by inclusion um, in general education classes and throughout the Grand Rapids Christian High School community. Lindsay has been a member of the Eagle Links program since it was developed and in the last few years has been a student leader within the group. When I asked my staff for qualities that describe Lindsay, this is what they said. Lindsay is a lovely human being. Lindsay is a friend in every sense of the word. Lindsay is absolutely amazing. So congratulations, Lindsay, on winning the Heart for Inclusion Award. The theater department is very happy to uh, hand out two awards this year. The first one being the Senior Tech Award, which goes to a person who over their four years has, has shown uh, an enormous amount of dedication to the theater department backstage. Um, and this person uh, who is receiving this award this year is uh, a cut and dry choice for us uh, after our discussion with our tech director. Um, so th this person came in as a freshman and took our, um, our technical theater um, class, which happened to be the first year that, that Chris Cook and I um, team taught that class. And uh, since that time of taking the class, they've become a mainstay in the theater department and uh, has, has done everything from being a uh, student stage manager, a student director, uh, worked on costumes, props, uh, all aspects of theater. And uh, most recently uh, did a very, very nice job this year uh, with lighting design for the Adams family. And uh, so I'm very, very happy with our choice. Uh, this uh, student has shown us uh, great dedication, wonderful organizational skills, and is going to go and do some great things. Um, so this year, our award winner is Miss Rachel Arndt. So congratulations. Our second award that we wish to hand out is uh, our Senior Performance Spotlight Award, which goes to a person who has uh, shown great dedication to the theater department, but on stage. And uh, this year, we have a great recipient, uh, somebody who is going to go on and is looking at forwarding um, their, their education in the theatrical arts and, and in performance. Um, this person came in as a, as a freshman and really kind of shocked us um, and has really made a, a footprint in the theater department as far as uh, leadership skills, um, uh, being a triple threat, uh, which in theater is, is, is very, very difficult to do. That means that you have uh, shown a great ability in vocals, dance, and in acting. Um, this person has been in both uh, straight shows uh, in the studio space and, and straight plays, as well as the musicals. And because of that, um, uh, we are happy to, um, to give this award uh, to this young performer. Um, most recently, uh, in her senior year, uh, she was the um, choreographer for, um, for the Adams Family. So uh, we're very, very uh, excited for that. So, uh, Miss Tyson, uh, I wish to go ahead and, and uh, let you know that you are the recipient of the Senior Spotlight Performance. Okay, so Kendall Tyson, thank you so much. Enjoy. Bonsoir. The award for Outstanding Student of French goes to Clara Baker. Although I don't think I've ever actually called her Clara before. First week of first year of French, she chose the name Victoire, which means victory, which I think pretty much sums it up. 
She is a creative soul and a creative solution finder. She finds depth, character, and artistry in everything she does, whether it's language, art, or anything else. Félicitations, Victoire. I thank you so much for choosing French, but I actually think it sort of chose you. It chose your heart a little bit. And I'm anxious to see what you do with everything in your life. Dieu te bénisse. Au revoir. À bientôt. Hello. My name is Donna Kemmerman Hauskamp, and I am the German teacher at Grand Rapids Christian High. And it's my privilege to uh, announce the winner of the German Student of the Year Award. Before I do that, um, I must point out that my entire fourth year class has been absolutely stellar. Uh, I've been teaching for a long time, as you can tell by these gray hairs up here, uh, 35 years in fact, and I can honestly say in all those years I've never had a bunch like this where everyone spurs each other on to greatness and does fabulous work all the time always ready for class, uh, always ready to learn, always ready to share. Uh, you guys have made teaching great. The uh, Outstanding German Student of the Year, or 2020, is Ben Herman. Uh, ben started with me when he was a sophomore, actually. Um, and in fact, it was during uh, when I was teaching RP, or in charge of RP, uh, and I spotted right away that this kid is really sharp, and uh, by about November or so, we had decided, you know what, we're going to tackle two years in one year here uh, so that you can jump in with your uh, classmates in third year. Uh, he would then be a junior and jumped in with a bunch of juniors. And he was able to, to do that because he is so gifted in learning language. Uh, ben remembers every word he ever saw, I'm pretty sure, and can use it in a context correctly. Uh, he connects with people. Uh, he's very up on uh, current events and historical events that have a bearing on language as well. Just been a real privilege to teach you uh, for these years, Ben. Um, and again, for the whole class, you've been a, about the best bunch I've ever had. Going to miss you. Hello, everyone. My name is Gezi Cox, the Mandarin Chinese class teacher. Today, I'm honored to join you in congratulating Jordan Bergsma on winning the senior award in the Chinese class. Jordan is respectful to the teacher and the other students in the classroom. He volunteers to answer my questions on a regular basis and is capable and willing to help other students. He consistently scores between 90% to 100%. I'm so proud of him. Jordan, please keep your good work in college. Congratulations. In the Spanish department at Christian High, one of our goals is for students to experience language as a way to communicate with God's people, learn from them, and enter into their stories. Each year we select a student who has proven to be strong in Spanish and who is a culturally competent justice seeker. This year, we've chosen two outstanding students, Elizabeth Williams and Delaney Saul. Elizabeth Williams has a particular draw to Spanish combined with a genuine enjoyment for the nuance of language, and for that reason, always incorporates any new verbs immediately into her next task. By her continuing studies in Spanish and psychology, she hopes to open doors to mental health services for underserved populations, including Latinos in the United States. Elizabeth, Thank you for your leadership in class, your eagerness, and your compassionate and empathic vision for future. And Delaney Sell. Delaney just came to us this past year and joined AP Spanish with ease. She has been a remarkably calm and encouraging presence in the classroom. She brought a positive attitude every day, was a helpful collaborator, and even offered me some ideas, respectfully. She is highly capable with the Spanish language and, like Elizabeth, jumps to implement new vocab and learning into all things. Her goal is to become an environmental lawyer, so to defend and support those most at risk during times of environmental change. She hopes to stay closely tied to the Spanish-speaking community and their needs. Delaney, thank you for your leadership and your present and future work towards justice and stewardship in the world.
Good evening. National Merit Commended. There is only one way to become a competitor in the National Merit Scholarship Program, and that is by scoring high enough on the PSAT. In October of 2018, when these students were juniors, more than 1.5 million high school juniors worldwide took the PSAT. This group of students represents various levels of accomplishment in that competition. Nine students from our high school achieved the commended status. This means that their score was in the top 5% of the 1.5 million juniors who took the PSAT. Please help me in congratulating Ava Boydegraff, Nick Christians, Matea Dinkema, Hannah Fang, Luke Haskell, Benjamin Herman, Owen Tellenheisen, Zoe Turner, and Josiah Walter. The National Merit Finalists. From this group of students who scored in the top few percent of test takers, approximately 16,000 students are chosen from the semi-finalist list. To continue in this competition, these students took the SAT, they submitted a lengthy application, an essay, and a counselor recommendation. Then both the colleges and corporations chose scholarship winners from the semifinalist pool in order to reduce the group. These students are then given this prestigious rank of national merit finalist. Please help me to honor the three finalists this year, Miriam DeVries, Alexandra Frederigo, and Benjamin Peterson. It's my pleasure to announce the 2020 scholarship recipients for the Grand Rapids Christian High Scholarships. The first is for the Mary Ann Gundy Scholarship, which has been awarded to Maya Barbie. This is a $1,000 scholarship for seniors pursuing a major or minor in a world language. Please help me in congratulating Maya. The second scholarship is for the Rainbow Scholarship for students going to Kelvin College. This is a scholarship, scholarship generously donated by the Hogaboom family and the Rainbow Foundation, and this will go to Lauren Timmer. Congratulations, Lauren. The third scholarship is the John Zorhoff Memorial Scholarship for students who have been affected by cancer and or plan to pursue a degree in the medical field. The student receiving this $1,000 scholarship is Zoe Turner. Congratulations, Zoe. Each year, the Grand Rapids Christian Scholarship Committee has the honor to choose and recommend one student for the Congressional Medal of Merit. This award will go to Hannah Fang. This honor recognizes high school seniors from Michigan's third district who have demonstrated exemplary citizenship inside and outside of school, academic excellence, community service, and involvement in extracurricular activities. Hannah Fang, you were chosen because you significantly impact the fabric of our school. Congratulations. Each year, two of our seniors are chosen to be honored for the Lions Club Award. The Lions Club, even though this year will not be extending an invitation to an in-person luncheon, two students are still being honored this year, Jack Long and Madison Quist. Congratulations. These are two exemplary academic and athletic students who are involved in community service. Please help me in congratulating them both. It's now time to present the 2020 Eagle Way Award. This award is given to senior students who embody the school's values and who live them out to impact our community. I'm excited to share that the 2020 award is being renamed in memory of 2019 graduate and award recipient, Olivia Haverkamp. Olivia lived her life with humility, kindness, and an infectious joy. She not only embodied our values, she inspired others to live them out. Those of us who knew Olivia are forever changed. We hope to honor her life by following her example. And now our Dean of Student Life, Mr. Eric Taylor, will present the first Olivia Haverkamp Eagle Way Award tonight. Good evening, everyone. I am Eric Taylor, Dean of Student Life and Boys Varsity Basketball Coach. It is my privilege to present the Eagle Way Award to one of our outstanding students. I've had the pleasure of coaching and working alongside this great individual. What I've come to admire about him is his heart and his kindness and how he extends that to his peers our staff and to our coaches. He seeks to listen to those that need to be heard. Often he is a voice that brings our community together. 
We all have come to see and appreciate his charisma and his leadership in the classroom and also outside of the classroom. He was the vice president of the National Honor Society. He's a four-year student Congress member, a four-sport athlete, captain of the tennis and basketball team, two-year member of Eagle Nation, and 2019 track mid-distance distance athlete of the year. He has been a portrait of a graduate by being a thoughtful neighbor, a lifelong learner, a creative solution finder, a justice seeker, and a communicator and collaborator, and lastly, a disciple of Christ. He will be missed as he takes his talents to the University of Michigan to study economics and business. I know he will continue to be a servant leader and put his faith in action by being a light where there is dark. I would like to present this award to Jack Long. Jack, congratulations, and we thank you for all the great memories. And I leave you with this. Be on your guard, stand firm in faith, be courageous and be strong. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Thank you. It is my pleasure to present the next Olivia Havercamp Eagle Way Award to Audrey Monahan. Audrey has demonstrated that she is an effective communicator and collaborator and a creative solution finder. During her four years at Grand Rapids Christian High School, Audrey has been a leader both inside and outside of the classroom. I had the privilege to have Audrey in class for two years. As a student, Audrey is engaged, curious, and ready to participate enthusiastically. She leads outside of the classroom as well. Audrey is the captain of the lacrosse team, the captain of the forensics team, a member of the service branch of Student Congress, and the president of National Honor Society. In each of these roles, Audrey leads her peers and effectively communicates with the Grand Rapids Christian High School community. It is evident that Audrey continues to use her gifts and talents to serve her peers and above all to honor and glorify God. It is our prayer that God will continue to work in and through you, Audrey. Congratulations. As we conclude this special celebration, I want to say thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. It has been a joy to walk with you these past four years. God has created each one of you uniquely and blessed you with talents, and we pray that you continue to use those to honor and glorify him. We are grateful that we could celebrate tonight, though it is different than usual. Um, and we wanted to let you know that your awards and gifts for this evening will either be sent in the mail to your home address or be available for pickup on our May 18 drive through celebration event. So thank you for joining us tonight and please join me now in a closing prayer. Dear Father in heaven, Thank you for the opportunity to gather this evening and honor the class of 2020. We are so grateful for the many unique gifts and talents that are represented here. We pray that you will continue to guide the steps of each of these graduates. May they continue to use their talents to honor and glorify you. Thank you for the ways that our seniors have continued to lead their peers during this uncertain time. We pray too for the health and safety of our Grand Rapids Christian High School community. We are in the midst of a difficult time. May we be reminded daily that you hold each of us in the palm of your hand. And though there is a lot of uncertainty right now, may we be reminded that your love for each of us is certain and everlasting. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining us.